Hello students, how are you? Today I discuss the third use of dimension analysis. As you know, the first one to check the correctness, second to convert one system into another system. It is discussed already. Now the third application is to convert to derive the relationship among physical quantities or derivation of formula. This is very important topic. How? Because by knowing this method you can find the formula of any physical substance like as you know the formula of force F equals to ML formula of momentum P equals to ML so these are already discussed in the previous classes and you remember this but in this class you find the method how the physical relationship can be derived between different physical quantity so for this look carefully on your screen you find derive one question derive the formula for centripetal force centripetal force acting on a particle of mass m moving with velocity v in a circle of radius r that is your question now look how we find the relationship and you can say how you find the formula of centripetal force so you find that f proportional to m to the power a b to the power b and r to the power c in this way you can write x y z a b c d anything now when the proportion is removed a quantity must be established there and here k is dimensionless constant after that writing the dimensions of all quantity that means you can write the dimension of all terms that are used here so the dimension of force dimension of force m l p minus 2 dimension of mass m to the power a dimension of velocity l t minus 1 dimension of r that is radius l power c so m1 l1 t minus 2 or here by use the rule of indices a m para power a l to the power b plus c and t to the power minus 2 on comparing both sides and either you can write by principle of homogeneity as you know a is equals to 1 clear b plus c equals to 1 minus b equals to minus 2 clear in this way we find the value of b equals to 2 putting this value in this relation we find the value of C and it becomes minus 1. So in this way we find the value of A, B and C. Now write this value in this equation. Then F equals to K M to the power A, V to the power 2 and R to the power minus 1. That can be written as K is equals to M D square by R. This is the required formula for centripetal force. But experimentally, it can be find that 
the value of k equals to half. So f equals to half mb square. Clear? So this is the simple method to find the relationship between different physical quantities or you can find the formula. So by using this or knowing this you practice more and more and after that you can find the relationship of a very difficult substance also which is because it is, Anna, this is very very simple method. Thank you.